So guess who's back in Costa Rica? I'm not sure we can call this a Costa Rica 3.0 tour because this is really quite the short trip for us. Um, this was a five day trip. I am sliding you guys in a couple of videos, but following up here at Christian's place, he's done a bunch of new stuff on his property. Japotacabas aren't really going off. We'll definitely link in the description down the below, below the old tour here with uh, Christian because it was epic. We did a lot with the bees, um, did a lot with the Japotacabas. This will be kind of just a revamp kind of what he's done since we were here last, kind of a quick overview. Do have one or, new, one or two new spots for you guys to see on this trip, so stay tuned. Let's go find Christian. Hey, 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 hey! Dude, what's going on? Costa Rica with Pete. I said this is kind of a week 3.0. We're gonna have to come back and really do it right. That's just true. Of, just this, giving him a teaser this trip, Randy. This was a quick little trip. More to come, for sure. Oh, hi, right, you gonna give us the tour? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, who are you? I don't think you've been introduced before, bro. Ben. Ben, helping with design yep. from the East Coast. Slinging the computer. Counting a lot of dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. The man, the legend. Hola, por allá. <laughs> Christian Vargas in the house. What are we talking about today, Pete? What well, are we let's, doing? Let's talk about where we are, how long he's been here, what's changed since we were here last, that kind of stuff to start, and we'll get this tour rolling. Cool. ¿Cuántos años todo aquí en la, en la finca? Eh, nosotros 18 años. 18 years total in the farm. And uh, yeah, I've been a lot of changes, I think, since last time you guys were here. Christian, ¿cuántas área de nuevo? Eh, una manzana. So one manzana, what we call in Costa Rica, which is about one and three quarter acres, 7,000 square meters, is the new neighboring property he just bought and he's been planting that out. So we definitely will go and check out and see what he's got growing on over there. Lots of other cool new features happening on the farm. See what kind of gardens are up to these days. Donde quería primero? Vamos allá, primero. Okay, vamos, vamos. I think we missed uh, Japotacaba wine season. By a few? Yeah, we missed, we missed the harvest. There was a... ¿Cuándo cosecha en la Japoticaba? Hace un mes. Dos meses. But yeah, about two months ago. It was the big Japoticaba uh, harvest. Oh, orchids. I don't know if you guys remember, but Christian is in love with orchids. He's got them bumping all over the farm. ¿Cuántos años estos orquídeas? Esa planta tiene cuatro años. Cuatro. Four years. Wow. Cuatro años. Sí, la mamá. Uh, está muy grande para la cuatro mamá años. Que sigue well, this is a japonicaba tree above us too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you can see obviously some dried. It's always a battle with the birds, but of course we want to share with the bird creatures too. But uh, yeah, they love the they love the javas. Um, y estos árboles, ¿cuántos años tiene más o menos? Eh, estos van a cumplir como 40 años. 40? Ajá. Uh -huh. 40 year Jabotecaba trees. 40 years, nice. Really super rare in this in this region, really in Costa Rica. You don't see a lot of old Jabotecabas like this. He sí. nets these? All of them nets them to get the birds away for the most part? No, no, he doesn't net them. No, no, no pone como un tipo de sedazo ni nada, ¿verdad? Ah, para los pájaros. Sí. No, no. No, no, no. Son muchas, muchas frutas. Wow. Sí, he just said there's, there's plenty of fruit. There's so much fruit that, you know, the birds have some, he harvests. Usually it's just about staying on top of it. Like, you're watching them and the birds don't really want them until they're like fully ripe, right? So, and he knows when that's happening too. So he's watching them and then it's like, okay, he knows, okay, Saturday we're coming out here with like five people pulling them off you know some that aren't like perfect fruit quality he's leaving letting the birds have them um he una cosecha grande por año or dos cosechas grandes por año una cosecha grande y una mediana okay so ah. then y cuando esta la otra la mediana eh, como a principios de diciembre más o menos okay mm -hmm. so like around two months ago was the big harvest for the year and then around December there's like a, a sm like a medium harvest that happens so nice. actually get two flushes per year on the habos. Ejemplo, aquel árbol este año me echó 100 kilos. ¿Cuál? Esta. Un árbol. 100 kilos, 220 pounds off of one tree this year. Oh, that tree right down there. Yeah. What, they scrape it off with a rake? Yeah, 220 pounds oh. on one tree. Sí, man, loco. 
Beautiful little zone one garden. What kind of lawnmower you guys cut this with, Brennan? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. The weed whacker kind. The whole place. It's a handheld lawnmower. You actually lift it up. It's pretty. So he's cutting acres with the weed eater. Acres, yeah, yeah, impressive, yeah. Impressive. All weed eater, a lot of hand chopping. You can see uh, uh, we got a, a, got a friend down cool. there doing uh, some cleanup today. Okay. He's cleaning banana leaves. Yeah, he's, he's cleaning up the old banana leaves. So there's, you know, pretty much everything here in Costa Rica is all hand labor. You know, it's because of the steep slopes and the terrain, we don't really use a lot of mechanized equipment, tractors. You know, we're really doing a lot of handwork for the most part. You're showing us the miracle fruit, huh? Que lindo. That's, yeah, we got miracle fruit over there. Another sweet little orchid hiding in there. Growing on this oh, cool okay. gourd tree. You can see the gourd. What do you call that, calabash? You know, honestly, I don't know the exact species or name of this. Um, locally. ¿Qué es el nombre de este cris local? Hícara. 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 Huacal. ¿Por qué? Huacal. Huacal. There's another They're giant tree over here. Yeah, huge. Saddies. Wow. Look at that thing. That's amazing. Okay, lindo. I think you know they're all they're all special. They're all special. Yeah, it's a special thing about Christian. He just, as you can see by his farm, he loves beauty. <laughs> he just loves beauty. No lack of orchids here, huh? Yeah, no lack. Chacruna. Uh -huh. Okay. Chacruna, that's a... Um, medicinal? Yeah, it's a, a medic medicine plant. Yeah, like an Amazonian medicinal plant. Obviously, with the berries, great for the birds. This is a new feature over here since last time we were here. Wow. Oh! Look at the fish. I see that monster. It's tilapia. That's a big tilapia. El grande es una carpa. Carp, okay. Oh, wow. The big one's a carp, yeah. Y las otras son tilapia. We're representing the uh, Florida <laughs> gator there for you, Pete. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Is there a liner for this one? No, this is all natural bottom, no liner. You can see he's got lots of water coming in. This is natural flow through from a stream that comes through the property. So you just diverted it down through this little system and then it goes back to the main main creek again. Gorgeous. Yeah, all again, all hand work. This is all no, no machinery to build this. No uh, lack of uh, water here in Costa Rica, huh? No lack of water, baby. Water oh, rich. Water rich. Woo, look at these platanos. Those are some big plantains. Okay, bueno, por aquí tengo un árbol. Bueno, tengo dos. De cacao blanco. Ajá. Que la semilla es blanca. Ajá. Y hoy comprobé que sí es cierto. Hoy abrí uno y la semilla por dentro es blanca. Ah. Qué bonita. Wow. White. This is a white cacao. Yeah, white cacao. Uh huh. Whoa! Cuántos años son este árbol? Este árbol tiene dos años. Sí. Dos años. Yeah, like two two year old tree. Already bumping the fruits. There's wow. some seed. Yeah, we'll be able to. We can cut this one open and check out the seed. Okay. Okay, cogen una semilla y la abren para que vea. Get it, See? Gracias. Mm-hmm. White cacao seed. Ooh, I might have to get one of those. Got it, good. Mm. Wow. What do you think, Ben? Legit? Legit. Not bad? 
It's not bad at all. It's really nice flavor. Mm. Peace, John. Ben, you want some more? Yeah. Does he make his own chocolate? Yeah, he does small, small batch fermentation like we personal. do at our farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just personal stash. Mm. You want a little more? Okay. Yeah. Have to twist I, don't wanna, I don't want to force you. Oh. Oh. Oh, you think we can get those back to the States, Ben? Mm -hmm, we can try. <laughs> Don't want to get on that list. Right? Yeah, he was just saying, so we have, you know, at, at my farm now, we have like a small semi-commercial nursery, which basically provides um, all the plant and tree matter for all of our projects. And uh, so Christian was just saying, yeah, we're definitely going to be grafting this one this year so that we have this white cacao. Mm. So it's not true to seed, it's more or less you got to graft this variety. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cacao in general. Yeah, cacao. you want to you want to graft it. Like, you know, you can plant the seed and you might get lucky, but yeah, for sure cacao is a grafted, something that that gets grafted to be to make sure we have the genetics that we're wanting. Are these rainbow tans above our head? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rambutan. What's the Costa Rican name for this one? Uh, mamoncino. Mamoncino. Yeah, mamoncino. Yeah, I have a band. If you want to save these seeds or plant them? The the cacao? Yeah. There's plenty. Yeah, I know it's all good. Maraca. 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 Shampoo ginger? Shampoo ginger. Nothing. No. Get them gray. Oh, okay. Shampoo's red. That's like a yellow honey. Oh, okay. Thing. Maraca. Whoa, whoa. Give me a squeeze, Ben. Come on. Just like Sampo Ginger? Uh, different color. It's a little bit watery. Oh, he's got a variegated one. Uh, wow. That's cool. The variegated shampoo? That's what he's saying, yeah. Aparte de tripa, ven para acá. Donde encontraste? Mira este. Oh, yeah, so you can see the gel. Yeah. Wow. Dogs like it too. Nice. Usa este para algo? Ah, solo para. No, solo para ver. Ah, ven para acá. Just to look at. Mm. What is it? What is it? No, it's a manzana blanca. Manzana blanca? Huh? Ah. Okay, this is a white. I, I don't know if it's called water apple exactly, but he said a white water apple. Wow. Well, Go ahead, Ben. Give it a try. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Mm. Two years. Tiene dos años. Tenga Dos años. It's interesting. Tell us what you think. All right, gotta get the ant off my feet. Ants, should I say? Hmm. Kind of floral, sweet, very refreshing. White water apple. Mmm. Can eat these instead of drinking water. Yeah. Well, we're getting a little. Yeah, we're in a little ant ant spot here. Woo. Hey, Hormigas no están amigas. A ver que el bastón es blanco, Brandon. Uh huh. Hay rosado, hay rojo, y ese es blanco. Okay. Bastón. Uh huh. Same about that big ornamental there. Seeing there's white, there's red, and there's pink. This is a white one. I think it's giant. Yeah, right? Lots of shoots coming up. We just dig those out and propagate them around. No lack of water here. Okay, so Christian's been slowly transitioning the farm over the years. You know, when we met Christian. 10, 12 years ago, he was actually making his living off of this this small farm, his original farm. La, la finca original, ¿cuántas, cuántas áreas? Esta. Sí. Ah, igual una manzana. Una manzana, like one and three quarter acres. He was doing like really high production, you know, lot, giving each tree tons of care and getting like 
three, four times the harvest of like the local neighbors. Um, so he was super focused on production. You know, now he's diversified. We do a lot of different projects together. He's not as focused on necessarily making a living off of his, this, this farm. And so now he's like diversifying for, you know, turning it more into a diverse homestead. So he's saying this year after the rambutan harvest, he's gonna cut all these rambutans in this zone and plant a mix of trees. Okay, tipo de árboles plantar mushroom? Quiero meter longan. Longan. Uno que conseguí nuevos. Ahorita no recuerdo los nombres. Uh huh. Pero sí quiero meterlos también. Okay, some some new fruits that that he's just sí, found una recently. Una mezcla más más diferente. Uh huh. Sí. Más más exóticos. Sí. Yeah. So he's gonna plant up more of a big mix of exotic trees, which is also what I think he's doing. In La Finca Nuevo Abajo, también es más un mezcla de exóticos, ¿verdad? Okay, ahorita todos están exóticos. Okay, yeah, the, the new farm below, same thing. He's doing much more diversity, much more exotics. A few trees, you know, one to three trees of each instead of, you know, planting more, more semi-commercial, you know, he's planting more homestead style. What is that shirt? Is that his farm? Holding the soil? I, I just noticed that that was a soccer shirt. Sí, es es su, su finca, ¿verdad? Ah. Yeah, yeah. It is? That's a thinker? Yeah, yeah, it's his farm. Okay, yeah, that. Show it off. Let's see, let's see. Okay, eh, en Agricultura Organica no nos andamos con mirar this. Eh, so basically it says, in organic agriculture, we're not afraid of shit. <laughs> we work with it. Ha ha! Buena esta, me gusta. I dig. We got a view here, there's two a view trees, which we also call yellow caimito. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh, Oh, yeah, there's oh. one up there. We see it. This is what he wants. Nice big thump. Yeah. Thump wrap one. He's going for the bigger stick. More cacao, anyone? Cheers. Dude. Pretty epic spot, huh? This is pretty epic, yeah. You like that river? I love it. It's terrible, isn't it? It's better than a poke in the eye with a stick, right? Mm -hmm. I'm curious about this. Uh, Yellow Caimito, though. What's going on, Salak? Should I come down there, Brennan? What's that? Come on down? Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, you want to work your way down. Got some, some Salak fruits. Snake fruit. Cheers. Get that up to the camera. Want me to crack it? Yeah. Let me know. It's kind of spiky. I'm gonna crack it. Listo? Oh, look at that. Get some of that out of there. Oh, wow. Wow, these are good. These are way better than the market ones. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah. I bite this side, too. That's All right. really good. Excuse me as I go around the thorns on this tree. Mm. Oh yeah. Try this. This one's legit. That's, that's a stud. Sweet. The wow. other one wasn't sweet. Organica. It's a lot. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. Oh yeah. yeah we, we ate one at the market. Yeah, it wasn't, here, here. Very, wasn't very good. Yeah, there's still. You want to talk about the tree for a second? Super good. Super young. Yeah, so this is the famoso salak, aka snake fruit. Obviously, it's in the palm family. Um, pretty short palm. These get maybe, you know, five, we'll, we'll plant these at like five meter spacing. And um, there's, we plant these from seed actually. They are true to seed. 
and generally we get about 50% female, 50% male from the seed. And then what we do is we go back later and we actually dig up what we call ehos or babies, shoots that are coming off of the females. And then of course those we know are gonna be genetic, true females. Then we interplant with the males and females. Eventually we kind of work our orchards or an area where we're planting slock to get about 75% females, 25% males. These will self-pollinate without, um, without extra help, but if you hand pollinate, you come through, you collect the male flower, you come and stick that on the females and get some of that pollen going, you get much bigger harvest. So um, most of us that are growing small-scale salak are going out every week, finding the male flowers and, and pollinating our, our females. Ya es un tipo de guava criolla nativa de aquí. Yeah, so this is like a native, uh, what we call guava here, which is, um, you know, ice cream bean species in the U.S. But he's saying this is actually a native variety that he found and planted here on the farm. You think Ben try it? I haven't tried it. Come on, Ben. I've never even had an ice cream bean. Lots of first on this strip, huh? Yeah. It's really interesting. Is that a good interesting? Yeah, it's kind of like minty. You want to try it? Oh, oh. Oh, ice cream bean. You better get in on this, Brendan. Ben, we're gonna need these seeds. Oh. Yeah, by the way. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, really good. Interesting. Unique from the what we call the guava de costa, the big ice cream beans. Check it out. Whoa. This is not jackfruit. This is not champadec. What? But it is the marriage of the two called Champa Jack. Champa Jack, really? Wow. Champa Jack. And all the feedback we get from everybody is basically that Champa Jack's the favorite. Of chomp of jackfruit, of Champa Deck. The mix is just like super superb. Wow. How old is the tree? Champa Jack. Que como tres años, dos años, dos años. Este es hermano de aquel. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aquel va a cumplir tres años. Okay. Y este estuvo un año más en la bolsa, en el vivero. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y está más pequeño, pero tiene la misma edad de él. Okay. Pero... They were planted in bags at the same time. That tree was planted in the ground about three years ago. Y este en el suelo en como que hace dos años. Two years ago. So grafted. this is two years in the, in the yeah, yeah, grafted. Nice. <laughs> well, what's the story? Anything right? Uh, Not yet, a couple weeks? <laughs> falta, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, le falta. Sí, como que, okay. como dos meses. Sí, como dos meses le falta. Nah, two, probably two months till they'll be mm -hmm. ripe, yeah. All right, I'll be back in July. Come on back, Ooh. Pete. We'll have one ready for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fatty over here, man. That's the one that has your name on it, Pete. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Si le falta todavía. Falta. Pero menos. Si, menos. Para arriba tiene más de la vez. This one's almost ready. Este pequeño que como muy 
No está listo. No. 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 Todavía no. So it got longer, huh? Yeah. These are these are closer to being ripe, but that's maybe como un mes. Un mes. Mes or poco menos. Yeah. Three weeks to four weeks for this this big one here. That's it. Till be ready, yeah. Okay. Amito? Durian. Ooh, durians. <laughs> oh. Pretty cool. Quantos años es de árbol? Este tiene va a cumplir dos años y medio. Two years. Okay. Yeah, two and a half. Two, two and a half year old tree. The seed or grafted? Sí, es injerto. Yeah, grafted. Grafted. Wow. ¿En qué tipo? Yeah, we work with like maybe six different varieties of durian. Um, you know, our zone isn't like the ultimate durian growing zone. They they traditionally like you know if you look at actual commercial durian production, it's usually below 600 meter elevation. Um, so you know we're at 800, 850 up here. Um, we are getting fruits on the durian, so they are totally working. But it's not somewhere you'd necessarily want to start a commercial durian farm, you know? Yeah. So, and we're also, so we're playing with different varieties and seeing, you know, some that are going to be better to our, our elevation and, and, um, yeah. Yeah, Christian's been going out. I have some bigger trees on my farm. He's been going, coming, showing up at my house at like nine or 10 at night, hand pollinating, do do do, hand pollinating the durians. He's fully committed. Hey, my the durian production working in this neighborhood. <laughs> I like it. So this is all part of the new homestead, new farm down here. We're planting a lot more mix of exotics, more diversity. What was it, a monoculture when you bought it? Yeah, coffee farm. Coffee farm? Yeah. Okay. Just coffee, no overstory? You know, all the coffee farms here usually have some shade grown, overstory grown, Perot, um, different nitrogen fixers, obviously bananas planted in there. A lot of times there'll be pavae, the peach palm. Um, that's pretty common to see with the, with the coffee. Um, but yeah, just reclaiming the land, getting it healthy, getting more diversity in here. Yeah, give me the essence. Uh-huh, blank sack. Aquel de hoja roja, longan Fiji. Fiji longan. Y zapote, si mami zapote. Mami zapote. Silo. ¿Qué? Si mami zapote, silo. Ajá, silo. Right, mami zapote. Allá me tiene línea como limón, Eureka y Meyer. Eureka and Meyer's lemon, so. There's a lot of citrus here in Costa Rica, you know, like citrus is produces eight, nine months out of the year. Um, but for whatever reason, like some of the really common varieties we see in the U.S., like Eureka lemon, the, tr the traditional yellow lemon and the Myers lemon don't really exist down here. So we uh, we got some um, some stock down here and we've been grafting. And so we got he's got uh, Eureka and Myers lemons planted down there. Some of the first farms in Costa Rica to have it. We're going to get it spread around here pretty quick. Ocha Longan, another Longan here. Red jackfruit. Oh, grafted again too, I see the graft, nice. Yeah. yeah, pretty much all of these trees are grafted that we're talking about here. We do most everything grafted. We seed, there's very few things we do. Mangosteen we do from seed. Um, Abu does pretty well from seed. There are some things. Jackfruit is true to seed traditionally, um, but when we have these really specialty varieties that we're trying to keep the lineage going on, we um, we are grafting them. This is un cacao grandote, right? Cacao creo. This is a big uh, native cacao tree. Wow. That must have been here. That thing's huge. That's been here a long time. Yeah. Longan. 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 
Caimito down here is to the buddy. Drafted. Hey, barefoot hey, in the river. Is. Lost the flip flops early, man. What kind of crazy guy is this? No boots in the jungle? Dude, is this paradise? Or what is, is this? this paradise? <laughs> oh, nice. That is. Um, Go get it, man. Go get it. <laughs> Mandarina Dulce. Sweet Mandarin. What do you say? Overcooked? Yeah, malo. Okay. Ah, a cha cha. Oh, right here. That little tree over there. Nice. Yep. Ah, cha cha. That's the SME over there. That's from Seed. Carambola. Carambola? Yeah, Carambola, star fruit. Dulce or Asia? Okay. Yeah, surprise. He's not sure if it's a sweet or a sour. Okay. I see something ripening over here. Oh, no way. What's this, the Abu? Abu. Nice big ones. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's about perfect. Abuse can get overripe pretty quickly. So you want to see there's a little bit of green on here, but mostly yellow. That's what we're looking for. That's like perfectly ripe right there. Let's crack this puppy open. Vamos a ver. That's next level right there. What do you taste of? Pineapple, banana, um, pear. It's got some really, yeah. really unique notes going on there. Ooh. Abu. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, wow, right? Mm. Taste anything else in there? I'm almost getting like hints of coconut too. Coconut? Yeah. <laughs> little pineapple. Mm hmm. Mm. Pretty amazing, right? Interesting texture too. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ooh. like. That's Abu. Really perfectly, mm. perfectly right. You gotta watch the latex, huh? Mm hmm. The skin. Uh, near the skin, yeah. 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 Yeah, with a little that one hat was a little more yellow, less green. So a little more latexy. When you get you know the little more green on it, you're gonna get slightly less latex. Pero yo pienso si lo hacen igual de una papaya, una papaya la rayan. Entonces la la mancha se sale. Mmm. Bueno pienso ah probablemente. Ajá. Entonces el sabor de la de la mancha no no se para dentro. Okay. Con, con cortes en la fruta primero y un poco tiempo para salir. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting theory Christian's talking about. He's saying he thinks if you do little little knife slices on the skin first and let it sit for five minutes that a lot of that latex will kind of come out. You can wash that off and then cut the fruit out and then you're going to have less of that when you're eating it. It's good, yeah. yeah. It's the kiss. Hola okay, sapo. Yeah, that nice, that little light tree over there, light colored leaves. 
That's Olo Sapo. Pretty awesome. So he's got another river dumping down this way. And yeah. Where they converge and then go. Exactly. Two rivers. One coming from this one. This one runs through his top property. That's the river that the water feature, the waterfalls run. That comes down through his top homestead. Comes down here. This river is his other border. Comes in and they converge right down here below us. Epic. Epic. Kind of uh, what lemon drop mangosteen? Lemon drop mangosteen We're called Garcinia amarillo here. You can eat the skin. You can kind of just swish around your mouth, spit out the seed, or you can yeah do that, open it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that just exploded. You can just bite into that. Yeah. Look at these dragon fruits. Look at that flower. You can see these, these look more like, you know, North American honeybees, but these are also stingless. 